Hi friends and welcome back to a new video. Um, this mini vlog is all about my attempt to knit my baby brother's sweater in a week. Well, I started on Saturday. I did mostly, I think, the ribbing on Saturday and then on Sunday I did most of the yoke. On Sunday I knit for five hours to get the yoke done and I'm really proud of how it turned out. I really love how the little sharkies look. I think they look really cute. Um, on Saturday I was only able to do the, knit, the ribbing because we ended up going to the holiday market in Bryant Park which was very crowded and very overwhelming. Um, I actually I love the, the holiday markets but I do not recommend going on the weekends because <laughs> there, there, it was the most crowd I have been in since the beginning of COVID probably. It was too many people. It was too many people for my little brain to process. I couldn't handle it. And then on Monday, I unfortunately had a little bit of block just motivationally, emotionally, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. Usually when the weather is bad, um, I stop, like, when the weather is bad, <laughs> when the weather is really gloomy in the winter time, I just feel very empty. I don't know if this is like, um, too depressing to talk about. <laughs> But I have seasonal affective disorder, um, which basically means that um, my anxiety is like very heightened um, when uh, the sun doesn't come out. It's like the way Alan describes it is like I'm a little plant. I'm very happy when the sun is out and I'm um, very wilted when the sun doesn't come out. and. So I tried so hard on Monday to get work done. I was like sitting there trying to force myself to do work. And apart from painting my Patreon digital goodie, which I still quite like how it turned out. So at least that came out well. Um, um, apart from painting my digital goodie, I really just couldn't muster up the energy to do much else. I did make a, a very large batch of homemade chicken noodle soup though. I. Um, I pressure cooked my uh, my own like stock. I cooked a whole chicken, and then I shredded that baby into uh, chicken shreds for my chicken noodle soup. Because on Tuesday, today, the day that I am recording this little voiceover thing, we are getting our um, booster shots for uh, COVID because seems like the right thing to do and also because we are planning on traveling for the holidays for Christmas and so um, we just want to be extra protected especially because we're gonna be around my little brother who is three and cannot get vaccinated because he's a baby you know um, yeah so hopefully today goes a little better I am starting the day off with a little bit of knitting as usual I am following this baby shark pattern because my little brother loves baby shark and I think the sharkies are turning out really cute but for some reason my yoke is not long enough compared to the pattern instructions so I'm just adding it on a couple of extra rows um, Hopefully it will work out fine. I am also very nervous about the next part of the pattern instructions because it says to do some Dutch rows and I have no idea what that is. It has like a little explainer blog post thing, but I think I might look up a video because the blog post, I feel like, I didn't read it super carefully, but I feel like it's a little bit confusing. So yeah, wish me luck. And I think that's really- oh, I finally- I finally trimmed my bangs so my hair is no longer in my face. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's the little things. Um, yeah, I think that's the update for now. Um, I will continue filming little bits and pieces of my week. Uh, my main thing that I want to do this week is to cut all of the stickers for my Patreon goodie bags. 
Um, my prints finally got mailed out. So hopefully they will be arriving soon. I ordered them like a, at the beginning of the last week. Yeah, I ordered them on Black Friday, on Cyber Monday. And um, for some reason they got mailed out a little late, but it's probably because um, the, the place I ordered them from is a little swamped. So yeah, hopefully they, they come soon. I will be cutting stickers and so I will probably be a little floor gremlin doing my little floor knitting while I wait for my things to print today and tomorrow. Um, hopefully I'm not taken out too hard by the vaccine. I don't know, maybe, maybe I will be just out for the next few days. Um, yeah, I am, go I, I planned to not have too much to do, uh, to put on my plate this week just in case. Um, so if all else fails, I should still be able to sit at my desk and cut stickers and be miserable about it. <laughs> Hello friends, it is 9, 10 p.m. on Wednesday. I finally finished cutting all of my stickers. I've been cutting since about 10.30 in the morning and we are done cutting the very last goodie bag, Patreon goodie bag of 2021. Oh, a freaking Um And I've also been knitting the entire time and this is how much progress I've made. I still need to do a couple more inches to the bottom. Oh, that's my hair. I still need to do a couple more inches to the bottom and then I can bind that off. Uh, it looks like I'm not going to finish by tomorrow because I feel awful. <laughs> um, so I am giving myself a small extension for this little knitting video uh, because I am so tired. I'm going to knit a little bit more tonight and then, and then I'm going to finish probably the project tomorrow and then the video will go up, I don't know, maybe a day late or so. But yeah, that's my progress, little progress update for this knitting project and for my stickers. Ah! Yeah, um, the booster shot side effects have been kicking my butt, but you know, get vexed, friends, because it's better to have a day of misery from the booster shot than it is to you know, actually get really sick or get somebody else sick. So yeah, I'm gonna go rest now. <laughs> So I spent, oh boy, I spent all of Thursday knitting. I literally, I got, I woke up at like nine for some reason, even though my body was still really lethargic from the booster shot. Um, and I basically knit from like 9.30ish in the morning until 11.30 p.m. at night. My fingers were cramping so badly. I was so tired. I was still trying to rest my body from 
the booster shots side effects, etc. But I managed to get all of the body done and the first sleeve done. And on Friday on stream, we did the bulk of the second sleeve and I just I just finished. I just finished the edge of the last sleeve. And so now look. Look at how little it is. Look at it. Look at it. I finished. I finished the sweater. Oh my god. I am so proud of myself. I have successfully I have successfully managed to challenge myself and complete my own challenge of knitting an entire sweater in one week. It is a baby sweater. So, it is smaller than a regular sweater. However, I used I used yarn that was quite thin. Um, let me, let me I use I will have the pattern that I used linked down below. Um, but I used Oh Baby Organic 100% organic organic cotton yarn from Lion Brand. It is considered fine yarn. It has like it has like the number 2 label. So, it's quite thin. <laughs> but I did it. I'm so proud of myself. I am extremely tired of knitting. My fingers don't feel as bad as I did yesterday, which is good. And clearly um, my sweater needs to be blocked a little bit, but you can see the sharkies and it's so cute. My little brother better freaking appreciate it. He won't, he's three. He has no idea. He doesn't understand, but he better appreciate it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna rest now. I hope that this was kind of a fun video. I thought it might be fun to try documenting my little challenge to myself of knitting a whole sweater in a week while also trying to like do other stuff. I gotta say this was a good week uh, to pick for myself for this knitting challenge because I didn't have a ton that I needed to do by the end of this week. I do still have some work that I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing and probably most of Sunday um, working on. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> um, would I recommend trying to knit a whole sweater in a week? No, I do not recommend. I super do not recommend. I recommend picking a pattern that you like and taking your time and not making your fingers feel like they want to fall off. But it's kind of fun to know where your limits are, you know? And I'm so proud that I finished it. And now, now I'm basically done with the bulk of all of my holiday gifts because I have this sweater and I have, wait, I have this baby shark sweater that I'm done making. I have this purple cardigan that needs some flowers embroidered on um, and the buttons attached, but Pretty much the bulk of it is done. Look at how drapey this yarn was. This was uh, this was Lion Brand True Boo yarn. Also sustainable and very drapey, very nice. And then I also have this cardigan done, which is the one I made for my mother. It's pink. Again, needs the flowers embroidered on and the buttons attached, but I'm gonna do that next week. I have plenty of time. And then, and then I can just spend the rest of December. Look at, look at my little stack. I can spend the rest of December um, working on some other surprise gifts because I am nuts. I am. I love Christmas. But boy, are my fingers happy to be done. All right. Um, yeah, this is so cute. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little knitting vlog um, and seeing what it's like for me when I knit my projects. I don't know. Um, thank you for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. I will see you next week with something that's probably a little bit less tiring for my fingers because my fingers are tired and are cramping a little bit. I am going to take the rest of the day to finish editing this video <laughs> and hopefully posting it before the end of the day. Um, I guess we'll find out. Uh, yeah. I will see you next week. Bye friends.